Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to the Fallout 4 playthrough. We have finally reached our destination of Ten Pine Bluffs. These fine people are in need of the help of the Minutemen. They don't have much of a settlement here. I see a broken down building. I see some maters. Can I take these tomatoes? I'm going to take this one tomato. I just need that. And then we have this little shack. There's definitely not a lot to this little area. They could certainly use the Minutemen's help. There's some good people here. <gasps> and there's a cooking fire. I should probably talk to this guy. Whoa, buddy. Hey, Hi. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Do, 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 do you... Uh, sarcastic, if I told you I was with the Minutemen, would you still want to shoot me? Uh, take it easy. Do you point a gun at everyone you meet? You always point a gun at everyone you meet. I'm afraid I do these days. If we lose any more of our crops, we'll be done for. Now you'd best get yourself on down the road. We've got nothing for you. Now... If I told you I'm with the Minutemen, would you still want to shoot me? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word nice with mustache. one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. After Quincy. Bad business, that. What happened to Quincy? Alright, is there something you need my help with? Uh, do you want my help or should I be on my way? Didn't expect to be lectured by people I came to help. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're, uh, we're the good guys again. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear I don't know if I'd listen no to somebody with a gas mask. Worse since the <laughs> men fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies. Threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know oh, is there? From, but we can't go up against a gang like that. I can. All right. Will you join the Minutemen if I dealt with those raiders? Join the Minutemen once I've dealt with those raiders? We'll certainly give it a good long think. People have gotten used to not being able to count on you folks. That's not going to change overnight. All right, but here's the thing, Mr. Settler Man, Mr. Leader of this so-called settlement. You're talking about your crops. Literally, you have how many people that live here and this one shack. I'm just and two beds. So you guys sleep in shifts? Like, how does that work? I don't know, but let's cook some stuff up. We've got a lot to cook. All right, so we got some baked float fly, of course. Deathclaw steak. Well, the reason why I didn't want to eat my deathclaw steak before is deathclaw is like so rare that you actually get a bit of agility for an hour if you eat the deathclaw steak. And you'll find that a lot of uh, a lot of the more rare foods and stuff like that, uh, you actually get benefits from eating them. So plus 25 carry weight for one hour for eating grilled ragstag, or radstag, keep on the call it ragstag. Uh, mutt chops. This is, you, you guessed it, cooked dog. Ribeye steak, and that's from the that's from the Brahmin. I was really hoping for an idiot savant proc while we were cooking all this, but unfortunately, no. Uh, soup. Can I make a soup here? I need dirty water and iguana bits, and I can't. Utility vegetable starch. No, I can't make that. And beverage. I can't. Three dirty waters. You can make purified water, which is actually pretty good for you. So, all right. So we cooked up all the things that I have. Uh, we have the tomato plant. Uh, from them, also we got corn and carrot on the way here, so we're gonna have more than enough crops to be able to put down for food. And these guys really like their tomatoes. Holy goodness! <laughs> now, I, if I recall correctly, there may actually be something uh, over here in this broken down building. Uh, something for me to loot. It's been a long time, but I'm fairly sure. Oh, never mind. I thought. Uh, uh no, not you. Uh, yeah, you. All right, so I should be able to one-hit all of these things. They're just rad roaches. Yeah, I'm now level five. All right, so did I kill their roach problem? Ugh. Hey, I can go cook this rad roach meat. <laughs> and get a little bit of experience for that. But yeah, one of the reasons why we go with Aid Savant, and I think I've explained this before. I guess there is nothing to loot in here. There's just, this is somebody's bed. <laughs> but Idiot Savant, the reason why we take it is because how fast you level up, how much XP you earn, is directly linked to your intelligence. Now, if you don't want to have a whole lot of intellect for the particular build you're running, which for me is a big melee bruisey character, um, you can go for Idiot Savant under luck, which will randomly give you five times XP for any action. It happens randomly, so you can't really you know, predict that it's going to happen or anything like that. But we're level five here. Well, what do we want? So for me, I think it's between two different things. Um, so we took Ninja, which makes it so our melee sneak attacks do five times the damage. Uh, we could actually take Sneak, which will make it so we're 20% harder to detect while sneaking, which sounds nice. Or, alternatively, I think we can go for Adamantium Skeleton, which is going to make it so our limb damage is reduced by 30%, essentially making us more tanky. I think for the time being, we're going to take Sneak. It's going to make it harder for, or harder for them to detect us while we're sneaking around. Next, we're going to go on with Adamantium Skeleton, I think, at level 6. And then at level 7, uh, I think... 
Wait, next rank. Yeah, level 7, I think we take big leagues again, which is going to increase our melee damage even more. I have this all planned out. I'm actually thinking about uh, my character build, which my, with my first character, I didn't do that whatsoever. All right, so where is this raider? Okay, so they're down here at the Corvega assembly plant. That is where... Wait, is this is this the right direction? Just, just basically down south? Okay. This is where they are, apparently. And we're going to go there. If I remember correctly, this is like a, an old car dealership. Or no, it's a car... like building like manufacturing plant essentially is what it is and there's a bunch of riggers like hold up there and uh they're harassing these poor people who literally do nothing but grow tomatoes and live in a shack and split two beds among how many people bunch of jerks man bunch of jerks oh here we are like the great high what was that i guess i guess this is oh this is like a path that takes you up there to the to the settlement okay that makes a bit of sense. All right, so we got a wild dog here. Where's dog meat? There you are, buddy. Come on. Hon. All right, so I have trouble. I have trouble sneaking up on a dog. Let's cr let's crit him for the fun of it. I should save my crits more than more than I am, but critting is so much fun when you have this big powerful axe. Whoa! Oh, I blocked it. Nice. This that's my first like actual block. Whoa! Oh, then we got this guy behind me. I noticed I'm killing things faster than dog meat can help. All right, dog meat, there's another wild dog. Dog meat's fighting his own kind. These mongrels, they are like mutated dogs. Oh, dog meat, you beast. Dog meat, you beast. All right, I'll take all of this dog meat. Uh, you know, personally, I'm not a big fan of like eating dog meat. Uh, of course, I've never done it in real life. But like, even in a video game, it seems odd to eat dog meat. Uh, especially when my dog's name is dog meat, but um, you know when we kill those wild mongrels like there's something about eating that meat that just seems a bit odd now Let's hope I think I think there's people yeah There's people that definitely live on top of this giant bridge, which honestly I think it's, a, it's like a highway, right? And it goes like the entire length of the Commonwealth. I'm pretty sure so there's just people all over and there's randomly a trash can here And I'm not sure why there's a <gasps> traveling trader traveling trader traveling trader Da, 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 da. Hi, traveling trader. Ah, don't mind me. I don't look scary at all. Wait, that's just the Brahmin. Where's the actual trader? Are you the trader? Please don't be bandits. Okay, they're caravan guards. All right, so this is a caravan. So who do I sell stuff to? Hi. Stick to the roads, and you got a better chance of surviving. Right. Sure. Um, the only way you get old in this. Time to earn my pay. Whoa! What? Wait, what? <laughs> what is happening? Are they Morats? Morats came out of the ground, didn't they? And attacked and attacked the Brahmin. And let's kill that. There we are. I'm gonna help these guys out. Where is the leader? Like, where's where's the act? Where's the actual traitor? Is are they like way ahead of your group? Where is the person that I can buy and sell stuff from? I don't think that there is one. I mean, they're obviously heading up the Ten Pines up there. I mean, look at my things this thing's carrying. I can't trade with it. Whatever. I was, I was hoping to trade some stuff. But I guess I'm not allowed to. Alright, well, let's, well, let's put this away. Could you actually move a little bit faster, I believe, without having anything out? Like anything, like a weapon? Ah, oh, there's a dead Brahmin here, but someone left the meat. Wait a minute, Rad Roach. Where do you think you're going? What are you barking about, dog meat? Hold on. I want to try something here. Dog meat, talk. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, dog meat? Oh, gosh. Freaking these ugly things. Bam! We got, yeah, lucky we got when we got this bladed tire iron off of that one guy. This thing is like a, a higher level mod for a tire iron. Like, we, we got so lucky by getting this. All right, dog meat. Buddy. I need, need, need to talk to How you. you doing, buddy? I need to talk to you. First and foremost, do you guys know that uh, hey, they can do, he can do tricks? Tricks? Well, he can do tricks? Well, he has the blood from those things on his face. That's horrifying. But that's the one trick he knows. Dog meat. No, no, stay here. I'm trying to talk here. All right, How talk. You doing, buddy? Uh, I think you can hey, find boy. something for me. Think you can find something for me? Uh, any bad guys around see if there's any good stuff nearby. See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. So he's gonna look around and see if there's anything that we can loot or something good. 
There might not be anything good. Yeah, there's nothing good here. If there actually is, like, let's say there's, a, like, a stim pack or something around randomly, uh, he can find it for you, which is nice. So, actually, I think he actually brings it to you. And this is a, this is most certainly a junkyard. And I hear shooting. That shooting might come be coming from the bridge up there. Is this called a... Why is it called a rotten lane fill? Is there going to be something that jumps out at me? Like freaking Swan's Pond. Uh, I'm not looking forward to Swan's Pond. I think terrified me. <laughs> you don't know the Swan's Pond. You'll, you'll find out later. I'm so... On here. Is the shooting coming from that little building down there? Where is the shooting coming from? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Come on, mole rats. Show you our Oh, there's a cave. All right, so we're definitely going. We're definitely going in there. But dog meat. There's a bunch of mole rats. There's a bunch of these ugly things, and we are gonna murder them all. And by the way, the way you fill your crit bar is by hitting things in vats. If you didn't, if you guys didn't know that, that's how you do that. And let's grab our mole meat. We're, we're just gonna live off of mole rat meat. I hear these things coming out of the ground. There you are. They're like glitching out. <laughs> All right, let's check this Nuka Cola machine here. See if there's actually a Nuka. All right, there's there's certainly nothing in there. All right, you want to attack dog meat? Oh, one hit! I don't even need to go into that. unless I want to build my crit up. All right, dog meat, I'm gonna need your help here, buddy. We're gonna go down into here. I assume that there's gonna be something good in here. Oh! Oh no! Uh, ah! 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 Oh no, I missed. I'm hoping I don't accidentally hit dog meat with those things. I think you can do that. Hey, buddy! Hey, idiot savant proc. Yeah! I love idiot savant. It makes you feel stupid because this guy literally pops up on your screen and goes, Duh! But uh, you get more XP, which is good. What the, in the world? This place is odd. What What is in this thing? So we got some 308 rounds, some uh, 38 rounds, a Molotov cocktail, a uh, frag mine. A uh, quick heavy pipe pistol, a tactical light pipe rifle, and uh, some pre-war money, which you can just sell. Huh. So we got a bunch of uh, like guns and stuff like that, which I actually am just going to use to sell. Um, if we can actually get to a vendor or something like that. Because again, I'm playing melee, and so, you know, stuff, uh, stuff, like, stuff like that, you, just, you, know, you sell it off. Or give it to your settlers, so they're better equipped. Now, are you good? Oh, this is a settler? Is, it, is this a settlement? Oh, you guys killed all these mole rats. Allow me to, let me just go ahead and take all that stuff. All right, buddy, what's going on? What? You guys live here? He gave me 50 caps. So is this, is this a settlement? I, settlements usually have a workshop. This isn't a settlement. This is just like a random building, and this guy is a settler, which uh, there's a bunch of settlers throughout the game. Like they just run around doing whatever. Hi. Can I convince you to? Can I convince you to like go back to? Thanks for the help. <sighs> he's he's gonna sit there and keep saying thanks for the help, isn't he? <sighs> well, I wanted to get him to go and. Uh... Well, we got up here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I remember that shack. Wait, I think I might remember this shack. Hold on, just in case. I am all but 110% sure, ladies and gentlemen, that this shack here, because I remember seeing it says on air, it looks really cool. You know, it's like, okay, so this is a, this is just a neat little spot here. 110% sure we're about to be ambushed by a giant scorpion. Cause I came here, I'm like, wait, is this a radio place? Like, there's a bunch of radios right there. Oh my gosh. Alright, what, what do I have in terms of, like, uh, do I have any psycho or anything? Probably not, knowing me. I Yeah, where are my drugs? I have no drugs. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really have anything great on me. I guess we can try it, but I'm always 110% sure that when I went and tried to go inside this building, that a giant scorpion popped up at me. Screw it. Ah. Maybe it's random and it only happened that one time. Dog meat's just running along. So apparently it's fine. What in the world is happening here? Oh, 
Wow, shit, fuck that. Oh, fuck that. Fuck everything about that. Let's get a crit. Oh, I knew it was coming and it still got me. Ah, <laughs> uh, dog. Oh, yeah, I'm, I am most certainly dying. I am most certainly dead here. I mean, this thing is just eating me alive. Uh, we're going to eat what I can here, but I don't. I have a feeling it's not going to matter much. Uh, death cloth steak. That's a lot of health right there. Um, I don't have any alcohol. I don't have any drugs. Where's the good stuff? Um, right away, I can get that. I mean, that's not gonna help much. Uh, ribeye steak. Just eat up that. We're basically just gonna try and live here. I doubt it's actually gonna do anything in the long run. Hey, bull rat chunks. If you actually eat that, it gives you, uh, five extra max, uh, action points, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm eating all this stuff. I don't even think it's gonna be... Uh, really for any reason. I think we're probably just gonna die here in like one hit. There we go. Yeah, so that's why we saved ahead of time. I knew there was a freaking scorpion there. That thing is evil and does a lot of damage. <laughs> and I don't have any drugs or like any anything special to be able to kill it, which stinks. So, yeah, we're just... Why is that car? What? 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 Huh? What? Car? Car UK? Yeah, so we're going to avoid that area. <laughs> uh, I was just wandering along the wasteland, you know, or the commonwealth, I guess it is in this game. And at first ever played through, I'm like, oh, this is like, what is this, a radio station? And giant scorpion comes and kills me. What in the world is this? Why is it glowing green here? Is it because, oh, glowing fungus. That might be why. I don't know if I need that for anything, but let's harvest it anyway. Where are we? I don't even know where we're at. We're like basically on like what's left of a road. Look, oh, oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> Look at the way the skeleton's lying. But there's like a little makeshift bunker here. I'm keeping my axe out. I know I'll put my axe away for right now. It takes up a lot of the screen. I think this, <gasps> I think this is the retirement home, which is actually one of the most sad places that I've ever experienced in this game. What are you barking for, boy? Alright, hold on. Dog meat. I love how when you try talking to your companion while, while you're crouching, it's like, yo, psst. Alright, so, dog meat. Doing, buddy? Dog meat. Uh, think hey, you can find boy. something for me, buddy. Think you can find something for me? And, alright, bad guys bad around? Guys around buddy. No, we didn't find anything. Alright, I just want to make sure. Cause I, think there's some, I think there's some bad people in here. But come along here to the side, and you'll see just one of the saddest little things. Where were you guys when the nukes went off? Where were you when the nuke went off? This poor old, I'm assuming, woman was visiting the grave of a loved one. And this is where she died. But the flowers are down here. I'm not going to take the flowers. That'd make me a horrible person. Somebody put a flamingo here next to this person's grave. But yeah, this is uh, this is a retirement home. Uh, obviously, an abandoned retirement home. There's actually, I believe, some pretty good stuff in here. So we're gonna we're gonna explore just in case. We're gonna explore with this. <laughs> I love how the world when the nukes went off, it was almost Halloween. So everything has Halloween decorations up, which is a very very cool little touch. All right, hey doggy meat. This little courtyard area thing here reminds me of the map, um, uh, Downpour from Call of Duty 4. Alright, so, nothing so far. Ah, ah, man. Where's the stuff? There's gotta be some things here, right? Ah, here we go. We got some yum yum deviled eggs. We've got some bubble gum, which, bu is bubble gum good for anything? It gives you, like, five little health and does, it just doesn't do much. But it's something, I suppose, um... I could grab this coffee cup and, you know, grab that stuff for the sake of grabbing it. Uh, these things are actually pretty great. Uh, the table lamps, you actually want to grab those. Hey, Tales of a Junkyard Jerky Vendor. It's a magazine, essentially. So you've collected, uh, permanently gained better prices when buying from a vendor. Cool. So this is like one of those magazines that you can loot. Awesome. All right, so we got that. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, you definitely want this lamp. Oh, no, I'm carrying too much now. Uh, I actually haven't really sold anything to a vendor or anything like that. So let's actually eat, uh... If we eat some Brahmin meat, I have some, I think it's called ribeye steak. Okay, no, so it's not that. No, it's the uh, red stag meat, right? Or is it? 
I'm just going to scroll up really quickly. There it is. Plus 25 carry weight. Grilled red stag. That increases my carried weight for, I'm assuming, like an hour or so. I'll make it so I can actually walk along and whatnot. But actually, I have so much on me that, like, I should probably just, um... I can't even Box unlock that. Yeah, I have no points in lockpicking. I maybe just want to do, like, a fast travel or something like that. Hey, there's gourd food in here. For some reason, there's gourds. Don't think I, I can can't open that. There's stuff in there. Security, man. I can't pick that lock. I need to be able to pick that lock. Ah, oh, that hurts me. That hurts me. So I have nothing in lockpicking. Therefore, I can't get into any of those cool places. Therefore, there's really not a lot of good stuff here. Um... But yeah, I, I need to find a vendor. Um, I don't have a vendor that I can actually sell stuff to anywhere near me. Um, Diamond City, which is all the way down here. Uh, if I go there, there's vendors for me to sell stuff to. But there's no actual vendors, I don't believe, uh, anywhere around here. I can't, like, buy and sell stuff from the people up in Sanctuary. Um, I, I, need, I need, like, a traveling trader. Like, Trash Can Carla. I need her. So, what's annoying is we're about to head into, like, this, uh, to this place with all this stuff. Like, we're about to head into this, like, car factory, essentially. Wait a minute. Whoa! Is he upstairs here? Oh, it's a turret. Oh! And that's a guy there. Hold on here. Well, as much as I want to go melee, that guy's, like, right there. And he's obviously going to be out of melee range. So, what can I do here? What kind of a weapon do I have? A uh, short hunting rifle, short double barrel shotgun. Sounds good to me. And... Now we hit him with the shotgun. See, notice how that was like a guaranteed hit because I, because I had a crit. But unfortunately, I should probably not be in here. I should not be in there. Alright, so... I can't... I can't hit that guy. Uh, if I hit one, does that quickly take me back to this? Okay, it takes me to that. Dog needs always running or a lot, running ahead, getting hurt. Hold on. Did I reload this freaking. Uh huh. I forget that one shot empties this thing. Uh, okay. Uh, this guy's getting up close, so let's go to uh, weapons. Now, where is our bladed tire iron? It obviously, he's going to start with a B. Let's have that so it's at number one here on our thing. There we go. And you done messed up. You done messed up. You do not rush me. Fool! Now, that's a turret that's shooting at me. Where is the turret exactly? Okay, so it's right there. And Dogmeat is just sitting there staying in front of the turret. And now let's murder the turret the best that we can. If we can! If we can! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here with my pants down. Alright, down here I go. Oh my god, there's just more turrets! We're back outside that building with all the annoying bandits that took us out last time and dog meat is rushing them So I'm gonna go up there and help dog meat. I've got your back. Oh Dog meat going right for that raider. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy But yeah, this building is full of turrets and evil people and it's our job to try and take them out Now I wonder if I can actually get rid of that turret somehow by sneaking up to it and Not falling through. Oh, so I went up on this one. BAM! Sneak attack for four times the damage! No more turret for you. Let's grab all the stuff that the turret drops and get about our day. Let's grab this gas canister. Let's... Uh... I hear dog meat up there fighting. I'm coming, doggy. I can't get up, can I? Alright, so I'm assuming you're not allowed to get up that way and you have to go outside and then, like, re-go through. Alright, so we're gonna go back around this way. And we're gonna go back up the stairs that we went up initially. If I can actually go up and hit the stairs. Alright, so now that we're up here... You got this turret. Is it on to me? It's on to me. It's rough that that thing is on to me. Because it makes it so I can't go up there and sneak attack it. So, we're going to have to pull out a weapon. It's going to have to be like a... Actually, let's pull out a Molotov cocktail here. And... Nerd! Scout. Eventually, you're going to stop shooting, right? Alright, so that's doing a decent amount of damage to it. Let's go ahead and eat something because our health is getting pretty low. Um, let's go mutt chops. That's not wait. Is mutt chops cooked? I, I don't remember. Rad roach meat. That's just the meat. I want uh, ribeye steak. There we go. We eat a couple of those. That'll up our health back. And let's malt them again. More fire. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what's going on here, but like I keep like accidentally like, clicking out of the vat system. And there's this raider scum that's come up behind me. 
while I'm dealing with the turret. Oh my goodness. Let's take the doorbell shotgun. Let's take all of your stuff here because you are just bad people. Tarberry. I don't even know what that is. Let's grab it. Dog bowl. We don't need that. We got, some, we got dog bowls back there for dog meat already. All right. So welcome to freaking Lexington, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right. Now the Corvega plant is... Is it right in front of us? No, it's down the way a bit. I think it's on the other end of this building, or maybe that is the building. I can't quite tell. But uh, let's let's loot here. I need some drugs, man. There we go. Medex, buff out. Here we go. Cooking station. Hope you guys don't mind if I use your cooking station. Now let's make some rad roach. Yeah. Now let's get some more rat chunks. Actually, I can make a bunch of these. Let's just spam that. I got Ian Savant on one of them. Got a little bit of extra XP. Let's cook up some dog meat. Very nice. Nice ribeye steak for us. I think half my XP is going to come from just from cooking. <laughs> and the time it took me to cook and stuff like that, my health has gone up, which is pretty nice. So we already grabbed out of that chem box. <clears throat> now, dog meat, you're going to need to follow me, buddy. First of all, we're going to check out this. Okay, I thought we could get inside this truck. Apparently not. All right. Now, suffice it to say, there's going to be some bad people here. Now, there's a terminal there. That's advanced, and there's probably no way I could hack that, considering I have zero intelligence. So, or one intelligence, technically. So, we're going to go up this way. Hey, there's a medex in there. And, hey, there's a hole in the fence. I can get through that. I'm glad, because I was worried I was going to have to go back. <laughs> uh, is the Corvega plant? No, the Corvega plant is this way. So, I think this is the Corvega plant. Um, we just need to go around to go into the front door. Unless I could go in the back. There better not be a mine in here. All right, I find it odd there's a mannequin laying on a bed, but... Eh, come on. Come on. Let me through. Can't get to the to the thing. All right, wooden crate. I'm going to unlock it here. The novice locker for I can actually unlock it. That's it. And it has an alarm clock, which we can actually... You see the materials that you can get from an alarm clock. It's pretty nice. And Rad X, which will give me a little bit of radiation resistance. Let's actually use... Uh, since we're not even really... We don't really need it that much. We're going to go ahead and use uh, a Rad Away. I'm sorry, that wasn't a Rataway. We're going to use the Rataway, and then we're going to use um, something small. Like Actually, that'll give me radiation, so I don't know. Let's use our Rataway, and that's going to get rid of what radiation uh, poison or sickness that we have. All right. So I think this is the plant here. We just got to go around it. Now, I'm glad that we are going around it, because there may be some stuff back here. Actually, I could climb this tree, I think, and then hop in. Oh, I fell through. I fell through. I want to do that. I love the fact that there's... Oh, they're making me, like, fall through it. I'm not even moving. It's just, like, sliding me off of it. And... Uh, <laughs> all right. So that, that saved a little bit of time for us, I think. I hope. Let's go down to here. Is there anything in here? Have you made anything good? Don't remember. Don't remember too much about this area. Besides, there's some of this uh, glowing fungus. Let's go ahead and grab that. I don't know if we need that for anything, but by God, we have it. Hey, dog meat. What's up, buddy? All right, so it's right around the corner here. There's actually a red rocket station here. So, ooh, wait a minute. Chat, always watch your mines. Never think that you can just go into, like, a diner and think you'll be fine. Keep an eye out for mines. I'm not seeing any immediately, but I'm sure that there are some in here. There's a cap stash. Bottle caps. Look at this here. All right. Things are coming up, Craig. What's in the basement? Jeez, dog. I forgot I forgot the dog, like, having companions and stuff. They, like, open doors for you. All right. Well, we're going here into the kitchen. Hey, good job, dog meat. Nuka-Cola's in there. a boy. Hot plate. Now I'm carrying too much and can't run. Uh, not you, dog meat. I'm trying to grab that. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to have to drop some stuff here, unfortunately. There's a sweet roll that I could take, which would be food. Oh, there's a person out there that was eating when the nuke went off. That stinks. Uh, let's actually just drop some crap. Um, let's just go to weapons, and then we can sort weapons by weight, and then we're going to drop, like, the heaviest stuff that maybe isn't worth a bunch. Uh, let's see. All right, so they all seem to be worth quite a bit, but this pipe rifle doesn't seem to be worth that much. Uh, we'll just drop that for the sake of dropping it. We'll get rid of these pipe pistols. I don't think they're going to be worth all that much in the grand scheme of things. Uh, wow, I have a lot of pipe pistols. This is a pipe auto pistol. Uh, we got these tire irons, which are randomly worth a decent amount. There's that security baton we got from the vault. Honestly, we'll just get rid of it. I don't plan on ever really using it for anything. Look at all these brass knuckles I have. They don't actually cost anything, so I'm going to keep those. Um, are they, like, they don't, um, 
weigh anything, I should say. Leather. We have all these all these leather pieces. I wonder if in the grand scheme of things it'd be better for me to drop the drifter outfit and rock something else with Oh wow, I have this freaking thing. Oh, it doesn't actually weigh anything. The T45 leg. I thought it would weigh a lot. That's actually for my power armor. But I wonder if it'd be better if I were to put on something like um uh, hold on here, like leather chest piece, right? Leather left arm, le leather left leg, um, and a harness as for like my chest here, and then put on like long johns. Ah, I guess, I guess you have to pick between the two, so I guess Long John's actually give me a bit more. And then, so basically, get rid of all that, rock all this gear instead of rocking the Drifter outfit. Now, I wonder if it'll show me. Um, but yeah, yeah, apparently it would be a negative. I would have less damage resistance if I were to put on the Drifter outfit. So, here we are. We're going to rock this. Looking like a true psycho. <laughs> we are Craig, and we're looking like a true psycho here. <laughs> all right, so I think... Uh, actually, I didn't check the upstairs, thanks to the dog. I didn't check the upstairs, um, or the downstairs, really. So, the upstairs, uh, can we actually jump up onto the roof here? I assume we can, but it doesn't look like there's anything up there. So, let's just drop down here, let's check the basement, and then we'll be about our business. Uh, oh! They're making, like, an entire, like, thing out of it. So, how this works is, um, if you find something like this, it actually has a name. It's almost like a little mini instance, in a way. Like, you get down here into the basement, there's, there's certainly going to be some stuff down here. There's going to be stuff to loot, there's going to be stuff to kill, most certainly. So, we are going to sneak. Huh. Really? There's there's nobody? I thought there was going to be, like, a little mini dungeon experience, almost. I guess not. Oh, that was probably him. That was probably him. This is probably the guy that ran it. So, there's bobby pins in there. Uh, gray knit cap. I don't need that. Is there really no mines? No nothing? It's just, hey, come here, take my stuff? I mean, I'll take it. You don't really have any good stuff, though. All right, so we got some of that cleaner, which I don't think we need that. Dirty water. It's always good to have... Wait a minute. There's a bookcase that we can open. What is this? The elevator isn't functioning. What? What? I don't... I can't even begin to think what what, what, what what are we doing here? I'm sure there's like an entire thing to this. Like I'm sure there's somewhere in here that I need to turn on the radio. I don't like turning on the radio because of copyright. Uh, <laughs> call button. The elevator isn't functioning. There's a secret elevator. Where does the secret elevator go? What? I'm sure there's some people out there that know and they're like, yo, Nero is what you gotta do. But I'm like, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Is there something I need to activate upstairs, maybe? Because I don't think there's anything I need to activate down here. Uh, let's go back upstairs. Oh, now, uh, now I'm down I'm down for the mystery here. I want to figure this out now. This is kind of cool. This is actually really cool. Let's see. What could possibly activate that thing? Dog meat, you need to go away. All right. Anything down here? No. All right. Well... Let's go upstairs. If I don't find it, I guess we can just abandon the building, I guess. This is employees only, so maybe this will have something. There's a hole in the wall. Um, yeah, none of this looks like it uh, leads to anything. I don't know. There's a hot plate down here I can take, but the elevator is not working. I'm not sure how you make it work. I don't want to spend too much time on it, just running around being confused, so... We are going to leave uh, this area, and hopefully you guys that do know a bit about that can uh, let us know in the comments exactly like what we need to do with that elevator, if there's a way to get somewhere, and maybe we'll come back to it in the future. So it is called Slocum Joe's. Uh, that is the name of the uh, diner here. It's right next to the Corvega plant. So if any of you guys maybe have an idea of how that works, feel free to let us know. And here we are. We've got made our way here to this uh, this other red rocket station. There's actually some stuff we can do here. So let's grab this coolant. I don't know if we need that for anything. We're going to grab this coolant. Um, oh, I can't get there. Okay. Grab this crap. Um, huh. There's actually not a lot to this place. But there is an armor workstation and a power armor station if you're using that. And this is a weapons workstation. All right. So if there's anything I can actually do here with this tire iron, I can't upgrade it whatsoever. Yeah, see, you need, you need Blacksmith Rank 2 to actually be able to put Bladed on here. And we happen to get one off of that one guy, which I think is just hilarious. So we can actually upgrade 
these brass knuckles to make them uh, do better damage, make them bleed, or make it so they um, pierce armor. Which one would be better? I wonder. Like a damage over time, or yeah, well, I, I guess an armor piercing would probably be for the best. So now we have spiked on that. Um, Switchblade. I need blacksmith rank one to make it so my switchblade's better. Tire iron. I I can't add anything to my tire iron right now. Pull cue. Is there anything to even add to? Oh my goodness! You can literally <laughs> put barbed wire around the pull cue. Oh, that's awesome. Or we can put like a literally what they do is they put a, a knife at the end of your pull cue and makes it like a bayonet almost. That's that's actually hilarious. So that's armor piercing. Uh, this one does better damage. Uh, so I think I think the barbed would be better. <laughs> we got to get some. We got to get some on proc off of that. That is hilarious to me. Actually, that's actually really funny. <laughs> All right, let's keep on heading here. here. Let's keep on heading, guys. We're almost there. We're almost there. We keep getting distracted. Keep getting distracted. But this is most certainly the Corvega plant. As you can see, it says Corvega on it, which I think is supposed to be a play on Corvette. I could be wrong. Let's sneak up here just in case. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's a, I mean, there's legit a Raider right there. Hmm. Now here's the thing. Stay hidden, dog meat. All right. <laughs> Where? Where's dog meat? Dog meat. Uh, get over here. Get over here, dog meat. Okay. Yes, these guys are throwing stuff at us. I'm not a fan of that. What is that thing? Is that a ghoul? That's a ghoul. And you made a mistake. <laughs> That's what you get for chasing after my dog with goggles. <laughs> you jerk. You know what's interesting is we're playing here on the legendary, di or not legendary difficulty, but the survival difficulty. And we're yet to actually get any legendary, uh, any legendary enemies. They're, they're basically rare enemies that are a lot more powerful than your regular traditional enemy. And I'm carrying too much again. I keep grabbing. I keep grabbing too much crap. That's my problem. I'm grabbing too much crap. So let's go ahead and apparel. Uh, let's just drop the stuff that I'm not going to use. Right? I'm not using. Uh, would this assault gas mask be better than the one I'm rocking? Gas mask. Nope. They're the exact same thing. All right. So we're gonna get rid of those. Get rid of the drift outfit. Get rid of the eyeglasses. Uh, get rid of this, these harnesses. I'm not wearing. Get rid. Actually, I should wear the leather right leg. Uh, raid your left leg. Get rid of that. Get rid of this sack hood. Uh, doesn't help me out as much, but it's definitely creepy looking. Uh, so we'll keep that. So that could with straps. That's creepy. You're looking. That's more like what Craig would wear. So we'll get rid of that. Um, get rid of that hat. Uh, get rid of these extra welding goggles, right? So I need to stop grabbing armor, essentially. Because it's just making it so I, uh... What's my health like right now? Uh, health is full, surprisingly enough. Alright, dog meat. Hey. I'm gonna need you... Uh, to follow me, I guess? Are, are, are you are, uh, he's already following me? Great. Ah, oh, gosh. Ah, gosh. How am I supposed to get up to that guy? Stay here, dog meat. I guess we're going to have to pull out the old rifle of some kind. Uh, laser rifle. Dun, 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 dun. I should reload it first. And... Oh, it's a Molotov. I hate when they throw grenades and stuff at you. It hurts a lot. <laughs> All right. And... This thing's actually pretty powerful. I kind of like it. I never actually used it much. Gosh, screw this guy. Screw him and his Molotov cocktails. All right. He's like next to dead. Yeah, Indian Savant, 25 XP. I'll take that. Oh, there's a minigun. You kidding me? Or a machine gun. For whatever reason, it doesn't seem to be able to hit me. So I think we'll be able to kill it just very slowly. And I also think that there's some raiders up on the roof. I can hear them talking. But with them being on the roof and me being right here, they don't have like a way to see me. So we're basically just uh, line of sighting these guys. Let's pop. Gosh, it's taking so long. But it'll be worth it. I mean, heck, if this is how hard it is just to get inside. <laughs> Dog meat, where are you, buddy? You're right here with me? Good. All right. Wait, that's not my tire iron. I thought I actually had my tire iron equipped. Where's my bladed tire iron? Uh, bladed tire iron and equip you to there. All right. So I pull out one. There it is. Okay. What is beeping at me? I don't. I don't quite know. I'll just grab whatever is here. All these nice parts. 
Oh, there's a security light. You know what? You might think about security lights. That's why I think about security lights. Fire! Ladies and gentlemen, let's head inside the plant. 